What is going on guys? Welcome to another uh, welcome to another episode of the Diabetes Daily Vlog. It is episode 284. It is Thursday, it's 5 p.m. And I want to share with you guys a crazy mental breakthrough slash mental shift for following dun, 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 drum roll please. Dr. Bernstein. So a lot of my followers, subscribers, like when I post videos, or at least I can tell the analytics when I talk about Dr. Bernstein, by the title of this video, you're gonna hear me talk about the mental breakthrough that I had for the people that I follow. So an important thing to consider for any principle of life of success, now I don't, not, not, but not an expert about life success, but uh, for people that I learned, especially Phil Graham, diabetic muscle fitness guy, upgrade your environment so when i really started the deeper i get into this program the more i involve myself and associate myself with people who are successful in the diabetes solution type 1 grit on facebook group and other people on instagram who follow this program to a t and have great results and i, I listen to them i see what they do and i watch how they live their life and, and different things they post we interact i have a great friend that i met a while back when i first made my instagram her name is Leah. She's known as the insulin type on Instagram. Definitely recommend checking her out. I'm gonna put her link in the description. She posts amazing stuff. She motivates me like nobody, sorry, inspires me like nobody else for this program and just caring for my health. And I'm sure I've never met her ever, but great person. Nonetheless, she made this post a while back where she had made the post on Instagram and for Instagram, she, was, she wasn't looking, she was not seeking counsel. She was just telling people, sharing her journey with what had happened with her blood sugar. And on Facebook, I'll tell you what she did. Now first, I'll get to the background what it was. Now Leah follows this program to a T. She follows Dr. Bernstein's program, has great results. She's getting better daily and I watch her story on Instagram and literally she just gets better by the day. And I love that, that really pushes me. I'm a competitive guy and it's a healthy competition, obviously. But nonetheless, 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 she had meatloaf one night for dinner and her basil's adjusted, like it's fine, it's fine tuned. She fasts every morning, she's fasted throughout the day. She knows she has that down. She had a blood sugar spike in her definition, a spike, which a lot of other people think is good, but in our, in our camp is a spike. 130 milligrams per deciliter. And she was talking about how she spiked and she tried correcting a couple hours later in the middle of the night because it was a dinner or before she went to sleep, I don't know, she has early dinner. She has a dinner at 7 p.m. which already blew my mind. I was like, okay, wow, you're, you're spiking in the middle of the night and you had this meal at seven and you're still correcting. And she corrected before she went to sleep. She was still 120, 130, and she she showed her graph on her Medtronic. And then in the middle of the night, she tried correcting again, barely went down. So she made a Facebook account. She didn't have one before. She made it just for this error. Joined the Type One Grit community, made the post, and I looked at her and I looked at her profile. I'm like, wait, is this Leah? I might add her. Like I didn't know she had a Facebook, and she had one photo. You can tell she had just made the account and she asked for counsel on this group because she trusts everyone there. That's that's the group you wanna to go to for questions. They know a lot. And she was like, I had meatloaf for dinner, 7 p.m. My basil's, just for uh, background, my basil is fine-tuned. Uh, there was no weird ingredients. There was, no, there was nothing out of whack in terms of ingredients. It was just meatloaf and vegetables, whatever. It was low carb. I know this meal. I spiked to 130 before bed, corrected, woke up later in the middle of the night, tried to correct again and it was still high. What gives? Everyone's comments. Now, this video is not about how to fix meatloaf spikes. It's the mental shift that I broke, that, that, that occurred in my brain. I was scrolling through the comments and I was watching it really carefully. I saw the one on Instagram and I saw the one on Facebook, went through the one on Facebook, looked through the comments and I was like, okay, Everyone's telling her, I don't eat beef for dinner because beef is a heavy type of protein that spikes me later throughout the day. And mind you that these people don't eat dinner past seven. That already like broke my mind. I was like, wow, I eat dinner every day at like nine or 10 and I eat whatever I want as long as it's low carb or protein. That was my mentality and it still is kind of. And they were telling her about adjusting different types of protein 
for better blood sugar results. I was like, wait, hold on. You're telling me that you shouldn't eat beef before going to bed, but it's low carb. Like she had nothing, just add more insulin. And that was my mental breakthrough. That was my mental shift. People don't just eat low carb. Like they don't follow a low carb program and just eat whatever because it's low carb. They trial and error and take out certain things out of their diet. They don't just go, oh, I just don't eat sugar. I just don't eat grain. I just don't eat gluten. I just eat everything that's low carb. No, people still make adjustments daily and weekly, whatever, out of their diet according to their blood sugar. Now that's bananas. That's just insane. That blew my mind. And those were the two mental breakthroughs. The one I'm breaking through right now is eating not eating dinner no later than 7, 7.30. I'm really getting good at that, but the <laughs> snacking less at night. And number two is adjusting my protein. Like not every meal is gonna work for me. Egg whites, you know, I'm not saying this is not working for me, but like if I need to take out egg whites, I need to get down and like, I need to like have the honest conversation with myself. Ali, you need to take this out of your diet. It is what it is. Do you want better results or do you want like laziness and not change and, and adapting, really adapting. I really hope this resonated with you and for people that don't eat low carb and this is really foreign to you right now, um, <laughs> I do have a video in the description explaining why I follow Dr. Bernstein. Don't let this overwhelm your brain. And I know people say, enjoy yourself, live a little. I completely understand that. I'm very aware of that. I'm not this person who walks around and says, don't live your life, eat nothing but this, this, and that. Like, I respect that, and this is the way I choose to live my life. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button, comment down below. What did you get from this? What are you not facing? What are you not being honest with yourself about with your diabetes? Consider subscribing for Diabetes Daily Vlogs. See ya. Thank you, insulin type. Leah is the person, the man, person. She's making a challenge called the Happy Diabetic Challenge. Go and join it. Hashtag Happy Diabetic Challenge every single day of May. May you be a happy diabetic. You talk about positive things that are just things about diabetes. You know, diagnosis, story, what do you eat, this, that, what's your machine, pump, pen, syringes. Uh. I'm about to lose my mind. You've been gone for so long. But I'm out of options. There's nothing else I can do. Cause Thumbnail time. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Truly love you. Don't hate me. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Or money to blow.